heartless. I really enjoyed the ending actually. I feel like the ending has really bumped up the rating in my mind. Actually, I'm just about to film my October reading wrap up. So I read seven books in October, which is a record for me. Seven books, like that's quite a lot. I'm so excited to film this video because I've just read such great books this last month. Like I think potentially it's been one of my favorite reading months I've ever had. I'm just itching to film this video because I just want to talk about all of the amazing books that I've read. I also been making for the last like three or four days my own coffee and then putting it in Starbucks cup. This makes me feel like it's all special and like I've just, I've gone out and spent money on a little drink and I haven't. It's also a very windy and cold day today and it feels like the perfect day to be reading and to just be inside filming videos. I also curled my hair, which I haven't done since cutting it short. So I just wasn't sure if I would enjoy the short hair curled. I like a very long loose curl it's not like very very curl just want a little bit of a wave and i actually quite enjoy it. i feel like it's grown so much since i cut it did i cut it probably like six weeks ago now i feel like i cut it to like here-ish so it's grown a decent amount and this is obviously curled as well so it's a bit shorter anyway i don't know i'm giving you a hair update i'm going to film my video um this is my very professional filming setup just in case you're wanting to see the book video i'm about to film will already be up on my channel once this video goes up so if you want to hear me talk about all the books that i read this month this is my tripod this is a very professional setup but this is what it will look like so you can't even tell i'm going to swap out my sd card and talk about these books okay it is many hours later i took the dogs for a long walk and then i made dinner and then i was watching some of the oc which i'm getting back into it's now one of my favorite parts about finishing a book putting it on the shelf as completed um okay so next i don't even know why i'm pretending to look it's time to dive back into the throne of glass world and i'm so excited i feel like i i didn't read any throne of glass all october i read the first three in september and then nothing in october i'm so excited and because i read assassin's blade third i feel like i haven't been in like present daytime in even longer and crown of midnight ended on such a crazy thing so i just feel like we're really gonna get answers i hope so anyway i could be very naive i need to make the bed with new sheets they're christmas sheets which i'm so excited about so i'm gonna do that now and then i'm going to have a shower do my skincare get into bed and then just get comfy and read recently i've been really bad at staying up late like i feel like i've been reading until like 11 which is just so late for me it's only 8 15 right now so i'm going to put these sheets on have a shower and then hopefully be in bed by like 8 30 8 45 ish i've washed the sheets already so they're all fresh and ready oh my gosh i couldn't be happier i'm not sure if i mentioned this already today but it is the first of november meaning it's officially christmas time and i don't want to hear any hate about it i don't christmas time is the happiest time of the year and i will be celebrating for two months instead of one because it just makes me too happy this is the christmas bedding i've got it's from pillow talk in case anyone wants to grab some for themselves it's double-sided which i think is so much fun on this side it's just like cute little christmas illustrations and then on the other side it is red and white striped which is just obviously giving candy cane and i feel like it'll look so cute like this and then folded back our sheets are also this like sagey green which i feel like goes kind of perfectly with greenery in the doona which is just i couldn't have planned that better Oh, you're just gonna have to- Oh, why are you acting weird? Are you just so excited? <laughs> you're so strange. And you're just so chill. <sighs> okay, the way I was taught to put on a doona cover, because I feel like there are many ways people put it on to make it as easy as possible, but my mum taught me this way when I was very young. You basically turn the doona cover inside out. I don't think this is like revolutionary in any way. Find the two top corners and then find the two corners of your doona. Grab them with the corners and it goes on quite easily. Pop these corners in, give it a few little shakes. Oh my god, I love this so much. And then do it up. Why is this part always the part that takes the longest? The green fitted sheet really just compliments it so well. I'm so happy about that. <gasps> Stop. This is the best thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Why is Christmas bedding so much fun? So I was going to be so happy when he comes home from work and sees the Christmas bedding. Look at this. Is that not the best thing you've ever seen? Oh my gosh. You could also display it like this. Which I do think is cute as well. Oh, I think I might prefer that. I love it so much. Yeah, I'm just here with my Christmas bedding. What can I say? That's really the little things because this makes me beyond happy. Let's turn the lights off. Is this not the coziest setup you've ever seen? I love it so much. Now I'm going to have a shower, do my skincare, get nice and cozy, plunk myself right there and start Aerofire. 
Does it look like Christmas is thrown up in my house right now? I hope so. This is my first night wearing my new Christmas pajamas. Rach, George, Lang and I all have matching Christmas pajamas this year, which is just the best. Matching Christmas pajamas with your friends is my favorite thing to do every year. Like I'm just looking down and seeing Christmas, Christmas, Christmas and it's making me very happy. My skincare is done. My hair is in my favorite. My favorite like of my face doesn't look good but is my favorite feeling hairstyle. It's in that. My retain is in. I couldn't be happier. I also used uh, some skincare on my face that I think might be out of date because it kind of smells a bit funky. So that's good. It's not like I need anything that will make my skin worse. This is the first big chunky book of this series. Is anyone else excited? Because I'm excited. After this book, I will officially be halfway through the series. There's four more books after this book. Part one, Hair of Ash. It's gonna be good to be back. Oh, <laughs> Christmas. It's only November 1st. And are you so happy that they're on? I am, yes. I'm stoked. Like my Christmas pajamas as well. I love. I think I might not. Yeah. And look. Oh, the reversible. I've been listening to the Daisy Jones and the Six playlist for like the last few days and I'm obsessed. Like I loved the book, I loved the show, and then I knew I loved the music when I was watching the show and it's taken me this long to like actually start listening to it. And it's just crazy to me that this fictional band feels so real to me, especially because they have music on Spotify. I'm like, that's made me feel even more like they're real. Uh, anyway. Oh baby, look at this now. Oh, it's just so good. I feel like this book has been all over the place and I, hate that like I'm, I'm not sure if it's something that like as a viewer you even care about or even think about but i think just like from my perspective because i know it's just been a bit on and i just have not been remembering to pick up my camera the first couple of days of this vlog was like almost two weeks ago now yeah and i was like oh do i just ditch all the footage there's just no point and then there just won't be an upload but i was like no stop being a perfectionist it doesn't have to be perfect my videos are always just a perfect depiction of how my life is going at that time right now it's just all over the place so that's that's what this is it is now friday the 10th of november we move house on the 14th of november which i haven't said because i was just I, this move has been Without going into all of the, the nitty gritty bits that are boring, this move has been in the process since January. So I almost like didn't want to get my hopes up by telling you that we're moving and then it just didn't happen or blah blah blah. Just it still doesn't feel real if I'm honest. So I just like was a bit like I don't want to say anything. We move in four days, which is insane. We are downsizing, so we had to cull a lot of our things. We've been doing tip runs and Vinny's runs more than I've ever done before. Any spare second of my time that I have, I'm just cleaning and culling and packing and all of that kind of stuff. But I feel like now that I've shared that that's what's happening, now instead of just forgetting to pick up my camera, I'll be like, I'm I'm sharing it now. Do you know what I mean? So I'll, so I'll like pick up my camera. Anyway, we've actually done quite, I just got major deja vu. 
that's really scary when that happens. Like why? I mean, like I'm always sitting in my cup filming myself. <laughs> but the exact words I was saying, I was like, I've said this before. I'm actually quite happy with how much we've done. I feel like we're, we've been really getting ahead and like instead of leaving it all to like the last week for the past few weeks, we've been doing like one thing a day or one room a day or something like that. So a lot is done. We had our first open home inspection yesterday. Like people came and looked through our place, which is weird. It's always weird to think about other people living in your home and like obviously it won't be my home anymore but i don't know like we've been in this place for over two years i think it's like two and a half years which in itself it's crazy that i just don't understand how that those two and a half years went so quickly like slowly but quickly i don't know like it feels like we've been here for a while but it also has felt quick i don't know but yeah so it's all happening i can't believe it today so far i've just been like doing some loads of washing i did do some reading because i can't physically put down iron flame I started it a couple of days ago and I forgot how good it was. Like in my mind I was like, oh, like I don't think I don't think fourth wing was as good as I thought it was at the time. No, it was. When I'm not reading it, I can't stop thinking about it. Mm, it's so good. Anyway, I did some future you customer customer service emails. Um because actually I haven't also mentioned it. I'm talking way too much. Why do I do always do this when I'm in a car? It's when I'm in the car and when I haven't filmed for a while. I just like I could sit here for an hour and just talk. Future You, which if you don't know, is my, my little brand. It literally is very, very, very small. I've only got a few products, but the water bottles and the glasses with the glass straws are all currently 60% off. I'm doing a big Christmas sale because obviously like I do one sale a year and it's Christmas because obviously so we've had quite a few orders come in ever since the sale went live. So there's been quite a few just back end things to sort out. So I did that this morning. Anyway, packing goals for today though are to pack my wardrobe, I think, or at least like majority of it and the linen closet. Other than that, like, we don't honestly have that much more to do. We've been really, really good over the last few weeks of packing things. I'm really happy that we're not, like, stressing. But I feel like just moving is always, like, a little bit... There's always things that you forget about. And then it's, like, organizing the bond cleaners and making sure everything's good and, like, talking to your old real estate and your new real estate and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, but I'm very excited. I can't believe we're moving. And we'll just be in a new home. Like, every single morning I just wake up and I'm just like, I can't believe that next week I'll be waking up in a new bedroom. The only reason I have ventured out of my house right now is to buy myself a coffee. I'm really craving a cappuccino. A little half strength cappuccino on almond milk. Sounds gorgeous. So I've come to my little local coffee shop and I'm going to go get myself one. And that's kind of like my incentive to get to work. Like I've got my coffee, I've got a little coffee and I can like work hard. Tell you what, whenever I don't bring out my camera for so long, I really forget how much I miss it. Or when I start filming again, because I think sometimes when I don't pick up my camera, for, my camera for a while, I'm talking too quickly, I can't finish my words. When I don't pick up my camera for a while, I almost get like a little bit scared. Of, not scared, but I, I just, I've said this before multiple times, so this is anything crazy, but I don't really know what it is. I just feel a little bit like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by like starting, which I do feel a lot in my life. <laughs> overwhelmed with like starting things. Anyway, but once I actually just get my head out of my ass, is that a saying? get out of my own way and actually just start it's i love it and i'm like wow well, anyway i've talked for long enough actually i'm gonna go get myself a cough i'm bloody excited okay 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 got me coffee oh Smells like a good one. I am gonna miss this coffee shop. I mean, there's going to be many, many more amazing coffee shops when we move, but this one just holds a bit of a sentimental, sentimental piece of my heart, you know what I mean? Mm, yeah, it's a good one. I also picked up from the chemist some armor force because I'm going away, which is all just happening. And I was told that taking one of these every single day before you leave just helps build your immune system up before traveling. So I got myself a big pack of that and I'll also take that with me, I think. Travel is just like, it always kind of lowers your immune system a little bit. So whatever I can do to keep it up, I'll be doing. It was kind of like rainy and overcast this morning and so I wore a jumper and I got myself a hot coffee. Maybe it's just because I'm in my black car and it's just radiating heat. It's so hot now, maybe I should go to nice. Can always make this nice though, by popping some ice in it. No, I'm enjoying a hot coffee. I'm the type of person who, I will happily be overly heated. Um, that didn't make sense. I will happily be overly hot. Sam, for example, example as soon as he gets too hot he gets really like agitated and like really can't deal with heat i love the heat like i feel my most me my true form when i'm hot, very hot <laughs> like, i love sitting in a hot car queensland summer is just my favorite time ever because i'm just never cold i'm always just like almost too hot <laughs> and that's 
how I like to be. This is me procrastinating cleaning out my wardrobe or packing my wardrobe, should I say. So I need to stop doing that. I need to get a car service as well and start cracking. Recently I've been obsessed with putting some sort of cozy scene on the TV. I feel like there's some like white noise happening, you know? But I'm going to have my arm force because it is under two weeks until I leave. It says to take two a day. I think I'm just going to do one because it's like preventative. Like it's not like I'm sick. I also bought some organic liver tablets yesterday, which like sounds fucked up. Also, please like don't listen to anything I say. I'm not a professional, but I have been told by other people that eating liver is really good for you because like the iron, the iron and B12 levels in it are just like unmatched. I don't think I can get around like cooking and eating it. But I've heard the capsules basically work as well. So anyway, I got them yesterday and I took them for the first time yesterday. So I'm interested to see how I feel on these because I do know my iron is a bit low for my last. Oh. Oh no, that went in the water. Um, from my last blood test. Oh, I've got to take four a day as well, which is like a lot, but I'm a force. <sighs> wow. I'm still to this day proud of myself that I can swallow tablets. <laughs> I think it was probably around this time last year. Maybe it was even this year that I started to be able to swallow tablets. I don't know why, but my whole life I just never could. I'm not even over exaggerating when I tell you I tried every single day to be able to swallow tablets. I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't swallow them. And then one day I just could, and now I just can, which is just like baffling to me. Like, how does that work? So this is one of the water bottles that is currently 60% off, which I think brings it down to like 20 two dollars both the white and pink are currently 60 percent off which i can link below this is the perfect kind of bottle if you're a very like clean girl minimalistic it's just completely white stainless steel one liter keeps your cold drinks cold for so long if i put ice in here and then it like sits in my car for hours it's still got ice in it and there's just a little a little dainty fys i don't know what my pink one is actually i also love the pink a lot i just go through phases of mixing it up yesterday i also went out and bought this month's book club book for my little instagram book club i could only find two copies again this happened with powerless as well i could only find two copies so i'm just gonna give away my copy and then just like buy myself another one or read it on my kindle or something i'm so excited i messaged the three girls this morning so i think i'm just waiting on one more to send me her address and then i can send them off this afternoon also picked up for myself powerless by elsie silver which is the third book in the chestnut spring series which i think i finished the second book in this vlog but obviously that was like two weeks ago now oh i also found this chocolate yesterday it is gingerbread caramel caramel chocolate combined with gingerbread spice did christmas just become a chocolate bar certified organic and wrapped in zero waste packaging santa definitely approves I'm very keen to try that i love gingerbread and i love caramel so i'm assuming that would so i'll make sure to give you a little taste test so that's my haul i'm still procrastinating going and packing my wardrobe okay i thought it would be a smart idea to just start packing suitcases full of clothes instead of like getting extra boxes i did already pack like half of this <laughs> Oh yes. Um, okay, I can fit a decent amount more in here. So I'm gonna start by doing this. Also, I did all my books the other day and it looks so plain now. It makes me sad. I'm gonna put my hair up because it just feels like a hair up kind of job. I think I'm overestimating how many clothes I'll need and will even wear before we move. Like we move in four days, but I'm like, oh, like will I, will I want that? I've got tops, which is an absolute mess. Shorts and jeans and then a teddy bear that Sam actually bought me, oh, I wanna say pretty early on in our relationship. And I put it on the bed, but then Harvey, was like oh toy for me so then i just hit it here <laughs> my coffee cup track suits jumpers and then everything here i'm going to pop on some youtube while i pack what do i want to watch i'm up to date with everyone <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was beautiful. I almost forgot cheese for pizza. Ooh. Ben and Jerry's and Tony's flavour. <gasps> uh, uh, Do you know what? Uh, Do you know what I saw today? Non-dairy. <laughs> Wait, is it actually non-dairy? <gasps> Surely you get it. That chocolate chip cookie dough non-dairy too. I want the dairy one though. That sounds delicious. Tony's have their own advent calendar. Wow. If I was going to be here in December, I'd be getting Tony's advent oh, calendar. Oh, 
if I was I'll be, I'll be abroad. <laughs> but if I was going to be here, if I was I would, going to be in the country for December, if, if, if I was going to be, I'd certainly consider it. <laughs> However, I will be abroad. In fact, I'll be in London <laughs> or maybe Paris. I don't know which one at the time. Yeah, look, you said get out. You got a pinky? No, I don't. What the I don't think it's a. We've got the footage. Like, we did. Sam's embarrassed by me. Fair enough. before you speak, which is actually decaf. I haven't been really drinking coffee. I've just been drinking decaf because I was like, I don't really feel like I actually need the caffeine half the time. Sometimes, some days, yes, but I feel like most of the time I don't feel like I need the caffeine. I just love, I love the act. I love the taste. I love like the whole experience of drinking coffee. So I've just been having decaf. This, however, is normal caffeine. And I feel like because I haven't had caffeine in a while, it might hit me. But good morning. Happy Sunday. I so far have had a pretty chill day. Kind of like chill because I've been at home, but like quite busy. Just running around the house doing little things. Finished packing my wardrobe. So that's all completely packed other than the clothes that are on the hangers. And I'm just going to like pop a garbage bag around and then chuck in the car like that. All the clothes that I'll wear over the next like couple of days. We move on Tuesday and it's Sunday. Oh god, I just can't believe it. Also, I do have another cozy setting on the TV, so that's the background noise. It's not actually raining. It's actually a beautiful day, but it just makes me feel so calm with that going. I've also got a hair mask in my hair. I love to do this on a Sunday. Pop a hair mask in and just slick my hair back, and then I'll wash it tonight, and it'll be all rejuvenated and fresh for the new week. Whenever I'm doing my hair like this in like a sleek back bun specifically, especially like a higher bun, not like a low bun, really reminds me of ballet <laughs> and like a ballet exam. Specifically, you're like trying to get your hair so perfectly slicked back. I actually really miss, and I feel like this year specifically, which I love so much, girls have really come in. Come in, what's the right word? Like I actually made a reel the other day. So I'm just gonna read the caption. <laughs> was that trend which I'm loving I think it's such a beautiful trend I captioned it my theme for 2023 has been embracing the things that bring me the most joy however silly they may be the release of the Barbie movie Harry's love on tours reading sleepovers filled with giggles fangirling over whatever we like I feel like us as women are all honoring our younger selves in ways we never thought we would again and I feel like just in general that has been a beautiful part of 2023 like seeing women just embracing fashion and the bows and celebrating and embracing female friendships and even like taking things at a more slower pace and not having to be kind of like hustling all of the time feeling like you're failing when you're not i feel like that's been a huge huge like resurgence in 2023 and i think that's really beautiful so i don't really know how i got onto that oh my hair ballet i'd love to start doing some dance classes even if it's not ballet just some sort of dance class just because i think that would be so fun great form of movement obviously but more so just like would be such a fun thing to do each week and like look forward to today i would love to clean out my car because there's just like some boxes and little things in there and the last thing that needs to be packed is our laundry closet laundry closet laundry cupboards and then we're done like the things that we can pack really until the moving day so that's really exciting craziest thought to think that this time next week we will be completely moved into the new place, settling in, all of our furniture will be there and like we will just will no longer be here. I don't know, it's just such a weird thing to think about. On our dog walk yesterday, Sam and I were chatting and I suppose like reflecting on the last two and a half years here and how even though we're so excited for this move, we're moving to a completely different area and it's like, it's going to be so much better for the both of us in so many different ways. It's still always like a little sad to leave the place that you've called home for a couple of years. You go through so many ups and downs in a house and I feel like I'm such a homey person where like I feel my safest at home and just love my home so much. I really like to take pride in making my space and my surroundings very, very just me and I don't even know what I'm saying. But you no, know, just like going on walks around here, like we just do that every single day and we're just not going to do it anymore. It's always a weird feeling as well. Because I feel like when you move out of like your childhood area or home, most of the time you'll be back if you've still got family there. So it doesn't feel like, a, oh, like I'm not sure if I'll ever be back here. But our last move, the last house we were in to this move, I remember being like, 
will I ever even come back to this area ever again? I'm not sure. I almost feel the same with this area. I'm like, I won't really have a reason to come back here. So it's just a weird feeling. Also, this is very niche, but the Berry Balm from Glossier, the smell of this is identical, I swear, to I remember. Like, I, first, I remember the first time I smelt it. It just took me straight back to, I don't even know how old I was or what year it was. It was probably when I was like five or six years old, I want to say. McDonald's did strawberry shortcake themed Happy Meals. And the top of the little strawberry shortcake's head like screwed off and it was lip balm. And I swear this smell was one of the girls. I think the blonde one. Isn't it weird how your brain just has that distinct memory to a smell? Like I'm 24 years old now and I was probably smelling this when I was like five and I was like, I remember this smell so distinctly. Anyway, I also got a package, a very, very exciting package. A huge package from ASOS. I ordered, oh, it's so big. I ordered a coat for the end of the exhibit coming up, which is literally in like 10 days. Oh my gosh. This is going to take up half my suitcase. Oh, it feels like such good quality. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'll angle you down so you can see. Oh my gosh. Oh, the pockets are huge. Oh my gosh. This is going to be great. My only qualm is that it doesn't do up, but I feel like if I have enough jumpers underneath, um, a scarf, it won't really matter. Gloves, scarf, jumpers. Oh, I tell you what, I'm already getting hot, which is exactly what I want, actually. I love it. It's just so crazy because obviously here in Australia, we really don't have any climates for something I mean, honestly, I might enjoy this in winter, but any climates where this kind of coat is required. Wow, specifically in Queensland. I say Australia, I mean Queensland. I actually love it. It's just so weird wearing like a full on coat. This is making me really excited. I feel like, did I say this the other day? I can't remember what, but wait, but, huh? This is when moving before going away. I'm not like letting myself get excited for the holiday because I'm like, we've got to move first and then I can get excited. You know, I should probably take this off. I'm quite literally overheating. I do enjoy that. I do. Also, this is my outfit, my lazy Sunday. I actually just got these track pants and I'm obsessed with them. They're obviously bright pink with like the two white stripes down the side, which I think looks really like sporty kind of vibes. They're from by Billy. I just actually opened the parcel this morning. And I was just like, I will be wearing these today. And then this very oversized t-shirt, which I'm just really enjoying, like a big oversized tee recently. It's just so comfy and you just feel so like free. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? It's quite old from White Fox. I think I got it like two or three years ago now. Oh my gosh, this room is orange because I've got the Jetstar tracksuit out there. It's like making this whole room orange. But yeah, as I said before, this is the last thing that needs to be packed. Can you put me there? Oh my gosh, I can. Um... A lot of random things are in here. Toilet paper, we have picnic basket, just like a bunch of little random things that I just kind of like don't really know where to put and I pop in there. Um, and then, yeah, just other bits that I've decided to throw in. Can you tell this is our dumping room? Yeah, but that is a plan of attack for now. I feel like I've really just taught you off this morning, but Sam is working and I'm just at home alone. <laughs> so this is my social interaction for today. Okay, I'm gonna get some boxes and I'm gonna start packing. I'm having a bagel and egg for lunch because I felt like it and I have Gossip Girl on, of course. up in the best mood today because it is moving day tomorrow i've driven into the city this morning to go for a walk with katie catch up with her one last time while i live kind of close got a water bottle for her because she has been using my original white one with like the, the black lid for definitely well over a year and a half now and i really want to give her a little fresh white one I'm going to meet up go for a walk it's a beautiful day it's so warm i feel like recently we've been having the coolest november i've ever experienced like wearing jumpers and it's just been so strange but today is like it feels like summer so i lathered my body in sunscreen of course this summer we're not getting burnt okay skin cancer is a real thing and it is the only cancer that we have control over really this is just a reminder because sometimes i forget or i am not the best with it and it's not good pop your spf on wear a hat wear a cover shirt whenever you can and then after our walk and coffee i'm going to get a tan i haven't had a fake tan probably since like the beginning of the year i'm not even sure if i've had one this year I, I might have actually i think it was just before harry so like feb this year i haven't had one and not that you need to be tan but i just kind of feel like having a little glow i also have brie's wedding coming up this week which i'm so 
excited about. I would just love to have a little bit of a tan and having a tan without having to be in the sun is obviously what we want. I've also still got a hair mask in my hair. I was going to wash it last time but I was just like I'm just going to sweat and then we move and I just don't want like fresh hair. I'm just going to want my hair off my face so I'm just going to keep a hair mask in my hair for like four days which I can't see any problems with. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you know any of my clients have put on for this? Really? I had three clients this morning that all rocked out with it. It sits so much better than <laughs> green water bottles. Feeling very bronzed up. Now I just leave it on for like an hour and a half, two hours, and then I'm done. It's always very humbling walking out of here in my pajamas. Oh my gosh, I literally am so humbled right now. I feel like they're walking right at me. They probably weren't, but it felt like it. Got my little cough to drink on my way home. I'm going to go home and honestly, the house is kind of done being packed, but I need to like get the car ready. I need to clean out what's in here and then pack it full again. So that's the plan. Baldy. Did you see the, the things that Harry Styles might have gone bald? It looks like I have a mobile. Uh, what? Yeah. What do you mean bottom? It's speculation. Oh, like shaved. Yeah. That's sick. Because I don't have my earrings on. The earrings really just like add something but I took them off when I got my tan. I'm still on my tan. It has been more than two hours but I figure like eh. We got some things from the shop today. I showed you this and I still haven't tried it so I want to try this. And then the other day when we were shopping we also found non-dairy Tony's Ben and Jerry's ice cream. So we thought we'd try that. I don't think I'll like these but this is more of a you thing. But Sam got ginger beer flavored chips. I wasn't chips. even sure if I liked them. I was just like I have to try that. Yeah. I mean like I'm interested. Intrigued. Oh, I think I need my earrings in. Um, it's throwing me. That is so much better, isn't it? Oh, thank goodness. I know. It's a bit scary. I feel like this chocolate tastes like healthy, but like I kind of enjoy that sometimes. Why can't I open it? Ooh. <laughs> the chunks. That was rough. It smells gingerbready. Gingerbready. Like spicy. Spicy. As in like spice. E. Spiced. Spiced, yes. It definitely tastes festive. I'm just not sure if it's like my kind of thing. It tastes like ginger. We've really gone ginger. Very subtle ginger flavor. I'm not getting much ginger. Let's just have my first one. So is that just plain potato? The more bottom ones are more. Mmm. Mm. I actually don't mind that. I'm not like, mmm. I low key beer. get ginger beer. Like really? a subtle ginger beer undertone. But I like it because I was worried about it being overpowering. Mm. But it's actually just like a hint. It's quite nice. I'll try the ice cream. That's what all of we'll be waiting for. It doesn't look like creamy. I've got a Tony's chunk. Oh, that is so good. Yum. Okay. Obsessed. 10 out of 10. Chunks are good. Oh. The ice cream itself. No, no it's delicious. It. Just get a plain bit. But it's not bad. It's so good. Mm. What are you actually on about? Pastry non dairy. Yeah, see, I don't like love the taste of dairy. Yeah. Though. The Tony's and the caramel chunks, though. The salted caramel chunks are good. Hey, the well, caramel. When you get the caramel with it, that, it's, that bumps it up to like an eight. That's what, that was my first bite, the caramel, it was just caramel. Oh, so I didn't get that until just then. Oh, see? 7.5 out of 10. What would you rate this? Out of all chocolate. Yeah, Two. not very good. It's like, it's festive, but I just don't think I like want ginger chocolate. It's, it's the brief of what it says it is. Chips? Two. Five. What's your favorite like, flavor of chip ever? Oh, surely. Red Rock Deli? Okay, wait, let's go three, two, one and see if we say the same thing. Well, I don't know what you're gonna say, but mine's not that. Let's go three, two, one, and I have to guess yours and you have to guess mine. Three, two, one, honey Sweet soy chili. chicken. Sweet chili sour cream? Yeah, you've got okay. chocolate around your mouth. Sweet chili sour cream is the Goat of chip. Red Rock Deli I, I don't like plain chip. Here's my thing. Mm -hmm. I think I always have plain chips when I'm sick. Like after oh. we got food poisoning, I had them whenever sure. I'm like, yeah, you want, you're not really wanting like something, you just want crunchy and salty. That's what I eat. So now I think I like associate plain chips with like feeling sick. Okay, here's the thing. I will never get them at the shops because there's other ones I'll get before them. But I also wouldn't say they're bad. If they were at a table, at a party. Mm. Oh. Yeah, see, I don't think I would. Oh. That was our fun little taste test. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to end yeah. off this vlog now because Tomorrow I'm gonna to start a new one. Yes, Slow. you see it. I'm gonna end this vlog now because it is Monday. Tomorrow's the big day. Well, tomorrow's the start of the moving process, but I'll explain all of that tomorrow. This is the last vlog in this home. Mm. Isn't that crazy? I was really like driving home today being like, it's just so weird that I'll be leaving this house tomorrow and not be coming back. Like that's such a that's weird- right. It doesn't feel like because I'm not leaving tomorrow. So yeah. I'm like, this is really good. 10? Nine. It's not 10. I'll-, I'll Eight. I see that eight. Point five. I'm gonna go shower off my tan, then just continue getting everything ready for tomorrow. <laughs> I need to finish this part. So, I'll see that. <laughs>